So lower organic matter level soils. Okay. How are we going to use carbon in our nitrogen applications to benefit our plants and our soil? Um, I'm trying to think of a of a low test. I say low, like one well, percent organic matter or less. That's common. Common in my area. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So you got less than two. You're never. We're, we never break two. Mm. I mean, okay. if you break two, you got heavy dirt in my area. Wow. I mean, we got stuff, but that's also going back to, you know, what, what soil are you dealing with? Because with that sand, it's not because of our farming practices. It's because of the material. It's sand. It's sand. It's gonna Farming has not made dirt into sand. Yeah. Sand I mean, sand. it just mineralizes so fast. Okay. And also with that mineralization, it can't stay put. Mm. It just goes. <laughs> I mean, it's sand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, are there are there ways that we can increase organic matter? A hundred percent. I'm not going to argue that. It's just, do we focus on organic matter or just being efficient with nitrogen to make sure we don't burn up anymore? Sure. You know, um, yeah, we can do cover crops. I mean, I got some stuff that I call it a carbon bomb. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, growers field. We had them do you know a couple hundred acres of uh, oh. Hay sorghum is what mm, it was. Sure. Stuff grew like 14 foot tall in spots. Just unreal. But the idea there was to help grow organic matter. Okay. Now, if I pulled the test, you you wouldn't see much of a difference. Sure. Because a zero to six didn't change. Right. But you, I pull up the yield mat today, and you just got done harvesting this field. I can draw a line where it was. Okay. On the yield map. Hmm. And where we had... The sorghum sedan, number one, weed pressure was less. Like in the sense of like when we sprayed, it controlled majority of it. Okay. Um, but then also, the carbon that we put down 12 inches, put down 24 inches, is benefiting and supporting life to get those nutrients into that plant. And that's what we're dealing with with low CECs. I mean, that's going to be a much harder deal with clay is definitely if you're dealing with compaction issues so the cover crop the sedan was used not necessary to raise just organic matter levels in soil more of a bio more raising biology am i saying that well yeah i mean right? we were trying to raise biology but i was just tr so what's when we were doing the hay sedan or if you do a weed or if you do a rye most times people are drilling at what seven or eight 15 inches Seven. seven and a half, seven ten and a half. or fifteen. Okay, so seven and a half inches. So you think of those roots; those are easily going to go three and a half inches this way, three and a half this inches this way. Mm -hmm. That whole profile of that whole field is getting carbon pushed into it okay. by those plants. Okay, you think of a thirty-inch row of corn. I mean, there's some studies that say they only go fifteen inches altogether, so seven and a right. half either so way. Like a bowl. So if you do seven and a half, then your next row is seven and a half, you actually have some of your area that's not getting any carbon mm -hmm. pushed into it. So the goal of doing the sedan was that seven and a half inch row, just trying to pump as much carbon, uh, root exudates as possible into that field. Okay. Um, and with that in turn, better soil health. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah, just bringing up that carbon level. N on a test, you wouldn't be able to see it. Okay. Because that first six inches just processes so fast in, right. in that soil type. Yeah. But I'm trying to say, what are we influencing six inches down? Sure. Because that's one thing that's a benefit of sand, which I can go both ways, but it should be easier for those roots to penetrate. They should be able to make that. Now, with that being said, this year with the rains we had, we would have like an inch rain, 85 degree temperatures, inch rain, 85 degree temperatures. There's part of me that thinks that we've created concrete. Mm. because of those environmental factors. Got it. So there'd be times I took my penetrometer, I would go three inches, and I couldn't push anymore. Sure. And, I mean, I'm not a skinny guy. I should be able to put at least 250, 300 PSI down. Uh -huh. If I can't push it down, how's a plant getting its roots down? Yeah. Period. Yeah. So a penetrometer does tell you a lot, but the carbon alone helps. I mean, same grower went to a field that the dry land corners was still pasture. Mm. just because it's, it's not worth breaking it up. <laughs> like, Because sure. if, if we can't get water on it, 
It ain't well, raisin. Right. <laughs> it's, it's not going to happen. Okay. So after, I would say, a three-week period of hard rains, I would take my penetrometer, and we would have this issue in the cornfield that I could only go two to three inches. But once I broke it, I would fall down. Like, mm. literally, I'd be sitting there pushing, pushing, pushing. And once I broke it, Boom. I just fell. <laughs> wow. I think that the farmer saw it was humorous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know? But it was just like, I said, let's go over here to the dry land spot. Took that penetrometer in the middle of a, a brown grass clod. Just whoosh, all the way through. Interesting. So, Guys, if you've liked the information that you've seen so far, go ahead and check out the full-length podcast on our YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe there. It's also on all the major plat- podcast platforms. Um, we're constantly dropping info and more content on all the social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Check it out for a lot more content.